Anyway, I'm going to use the orange next. Hold the bottle over where you're painting. And as you can see, we're just dropping it onto the film and it's just running and finding its own level. You want them all to kind of run into each other because as it dries, it really takes on some really fantastic effects. It's the only paint I know which is actually interesting to watch it dry because over the next 15 minutes, it'll start, well, I don't know, crystallizing, I suppose and giving really nice effects. And it's fun to see all the colours just blending in together. I wipe off the excess orange, take the yellow, paint in the yellow. You can probably see already how the paints are all gently mixing in together. And it's great to see them work. There we go. Clean your brush. And now we'll add the white. So, Now we use the white pearl not just to just give white areas but when we've painted a piece of glass with assorted colours of pearlized paint we usually go and drop a few drops of white pearl into it so that as it dries it mingles in and it really creates nice highlights. You can see how they're all mixing together now and really creating a lovely effect. When you're dipping your white soaked brush into the paint, if you get any black on the end of it or orange or yellow, just wipe it off onto the kitchen towel. So if you put the black paint into there, before long your white paint would have discoloured. There you go. And now just a few drops of white to give those highlights. Now this will take about 15 minutes for it to dry properly. And halfway through you can also add more highlights with the white. And this is called time lapse painting. Uh, we're not going into too much detail that now because this is the beginner's video. And we'll do the best we can with it. Now to make something special, because it's a fish, we've got an iridescent paint which changes colours, it goes from red to green to white and just drop in some iridescent and that will give the fish a lovely kind of iridescent scaly effect. There you go, and there's the fish. That's ready now. Now you just leave it for 15 minutes and you, you watch it. It's the only paint worth watching. It really dries, interesting. So I'll just put this to one side and then you can watch it dry. After 10 minutes or so, if you want, you can make the highlights more distinct just by adding more white pearl. And you probably think we're putting too much on, but you watch, it'll just blend in nicely.
So when it's completely dry, you can just cut it out. I've just started this one off. And all you do is cut right up to the line. As close as you can get it. So when it's finished, all you have to do is peel off the back of the film. Like so. But before you do that, a good tip is just position it onto the glass where you want it to go. Now I've already got a fish stuck on here and I want to put one on the other side so you can try all different kind of ways of doing it. I think it might look quite good upside down swimming around that way. But I'm not going to stick it on this vase. I've got a much better place for this and I'll show you it later.